build a voyage and canoe. Sail to your homeland. Bring back pride and dignity. Give it to your kupuna and to your children. Change history. Reis Havi'iki is a symphony inspired by the Polynesian voyaging canoe, Hokulea. When our people started to research and go relearn indigenous knowledge, we found out the native Hawaiians and the Polynesians, by far, are the greatest naturalists on the world. And the other thing that you learn is that you really carry aboard that canoe very limited resources of food and water. So you have to marshal them very carefully. Hawaiians have a word for that. It's malama, to care for. The genesis of the work began when I was asked to compose a work to celebrate the return of Hokulea from their worldwide voyage in 2017 called Malama Honua. Take Hokulea around the world because you can't protect what you don't understand and you won't if you don't care. And I know it reminded us when we voyaged on Hokulea around the world, that we were on a voyage called Malama Honua, or caring for the planet. And the message of that voyage is that all of us living on planet Earth have to learn to live sustainably within the natural limits of our environments. To understand the history of Hokulea, I look to Sam Lowe's book, Hawaiiki Rising, which documents the early history and the beginning of Hokulea and the Polynesian Voyaging Society. The title of my book, Hawaii Rising, and of the symphony, Raise Hawaii, has many different meanings to me. Hawaiians would call it kauna, or hidden meanings, layers of meaning. Um, it refers first to Hawaii, the homeland, the mythic homeland of all Polynesians. No one knows where it is but that's what we think of when we think of where the Polynesians first arrived in the Pacific and then spread out with their canoes to settle all those islands. Secondly, uh, it referred to a kind of common parlance of sailors, that when they come from a long sea voyage and sea land for the first time, it appears to rise above the surface of the ocean. So they would say, we raised Hawaii on such and such a day and write it in their lives. And it refers as well to Eddie Akau's dream, which was to raise Tahiti from the ocean by voyaging aboard Hokulea. So that's in it. But most of all, I think it refers to the raising of consciousness, of pride among Hawaiians in the great voyaging heritage of their ancestors and the fact that they were the world's greatest seafarers who had discovered and settled one third of the Earth's surface and who had done it a thousand years before um, Europeans even knew the Pacific existed. Many of the musical ideas are symbolically conceived. So pitches, rhythms, the shape of the melody, all represent some idea uh, related to Hokulea, the sea, the wind. In the first movement, before the chorus enters, we hear music in the very lowest register of the orchestra. Timpani drums, the bass pizzicato, and a contrapassoon. They play a long string of repeating notes, and this is the idea of a heartbeat, a rising pulse, an awakening of the Hawaiian people. Above the pulse, the chorus sings a traditional chant asking for the blessing of the ancestors. The other main idea is the hokulea theme. This is the very first music heard, and it is a series of four pitches, and they correspond to the four syllables of hokulea's name. The shape and contour of the theme are constructed to outline the hull of the canoe 
as well as the outline of the sails. The entire work opens with a double presentation of the theme, first in the brass and then in the strings. So what we hear at the very beginning is a sonic image of Hokulea. This theme comes back a number of times throughout the entire work, and it also ends the first movement. Yeah. 